it's spicy. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing the Pop Beauty makeup that was sent to me in PR. Um, it's not a lot of makeup, but there was eyeshadow, lip stuff, face spray. So I just wanted to try these out and kind of let you guys know my thoughts on them. So if you're excited to see the look that I come up with and my thoughts on the Pop Beauty makeup, then go ahead and keep watching. All right guys, so I just want you to please excuse my mess of a buns that I tried to create to Today. I don't know what's happening with them but they're kind of like doing their own thing they were fine and now they're like freaking falling and flat and I don't know anymore give up all right so uh, we're going to move on I did get this thing to me in PR it is just a couple of items from the company pop beauty they have sent me things before but I've only really reviewed them on Instagram just because I wasn't really doing a whole lot of YouTube reviews at that time but I thought I would show you guys and kind of create a look from the stuff that I was given so this is the pop beauty light show palette it is a 12 pan palette and it has a very beautiful orange copper golden colors um and it looks like it has mattes it looks like it has shimmers so i'm really excited i'm really excited for that yellow that's in there so oh this one is called fire fit sorry i thought it was light show palette it says light show palette but then on the side here it says fire fit so it is a light show palette in the shade fire fit oh god um so it looks like this on the inside um, I know that it is not a very expensive brand, but I think these are really pretty. I'm excited to try them out. I do you like them? Like I said, I've reviewed it on Instagram before and the palettes were really nice, but I think I wanted up giving them away. I don't remember. So then the next thing I got was the Plump Pout Clear Ice, which is just a beautiful lip balm. Looks like it's just lip gloss. And then I got the Makeup Magnet Mist, Setting Mist. So this is the second one that they've sent me. They've sent me one before. So this is a flash, flash shadow, flash shadow, flush. I'm assuming it's supposed to be flash shadow, but it's F-L-A-S-H-A-D-O. So it's flash shadow. And this is in the shade Crushed Copper. So this is it right here. Just the liquid shadow. So we'll get into that. So we're gonna go ahead and start by prepping our eyes with none other than the master prep and set in this shade medium by mario and y'all know i just go in with my fingers so now we're gonna go in with the powder and set it set it and forget it this is like literally my favorite eye base i have so many eye bases this one is by far my favorite like it's just so tacky and the powder is just so good. Like it does not bring up any of that dryness that I have going on in my eyes. Alright, so I'm going to go in with the Pop Beauty palette in the Fire Fit shades. I feel like this looks really nice with my bodysuit today. Like the color scheme. Okay, and I think I'm going to go in with this reddish shade right here. So I'm going in with the shade Phoenix Blaze. Ooh, it's very pigmented. She's pigmented. We love a pigmented shadow. Okay, and I'm just gonna place that color right in the crease and work my way over. I'm just building up that color. She's really pigmented though. I love these smaller brands lately. Like they've just been coming out with such good products that it's just so nice and i just feel like it's better than the drugstore because the drugstore makeup has really picked up its game i will say that but it's also extremely higher price than i remember like back when i started on drugstore makeup so i've just found that the indie brands and smaller brands they have better quality products and they're pretty inexpensive so i think i'm gonna go in with that yellow and try to diffuse the color. So I'm gonna go in with this yellow right here and try to diffuse the color a little bit. Oh, she is powdery. I will say that. There's a little bit of fallout on that. Whew, bright. I would definitely say 
It's definitely not as pigmented as it was in the pan. Um, but it's, it is definitely showing up. It's just very light. I feel like that's definitely something I have to be able to build. And to be honest, that orange one is not really blending very well. On and off the PR list. Just like that. Oh man. Okay. So it's definitely not the yellow I was hoping for or thought that it would be because it looks so pigmented like in the pan but it's definitely not coming off that pigmented on my eyes and also that orange that I laid down the Blaze Phoenix is not blending <laughs> like I still have a very harsh line and I'm like really tugging in there so and they're not as blendable as I would hope like I don't know if you can see it but it's still such a very harsh orange line so I'm placing all of that yellow just all up in here on the top because I'm gonna try to smoke that I'm gonna try to smoke that orange up just a little because the yellow is not really as yellow as I was hoping so I'm gonna bring all this yellow up in here because it's just kind of like a brownish yellow and then I'm gonna blow up that orange if I can because it's not blending very well at all but I can't stand harsh lines you're not getting that for me so I'm gonna go back in with a blending brush and tap into blazed phoenix again and I just lightly went in just because I'm not trying to add too much pigment I'm just really trying to fluff that out and make it look like a gradient effect since it was such a harsh line left there so there we go, okay. So just lightly, lightly, and a little on the outer corner. Yeah, so I was able to get it to do what I wanted it to do. It just was not blending very well, that's all. So I do not hate the color. I do not hate the way it is. It is not as pigmented as I was hoping, but it's not terrible. I still have that sunrise effect feel. I just had to put a little bit more work into it. Uh, the yellow is not as yellow. I don't know if you can see that. It's not as yellow as I wanted it to be. It came out more of a light orange versus the actual yellow that's in the pan. So we're going to try to go into this crushed copper and see if I want to use this. I might not use this one. I don't know yet. I just want to kind of see what the color is before I put it on my eye. Ah, I can't get it open. You son of a bitch. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go on with this. It's the crushed copper and it just looks like this. I'm a little concerned because when I turn it, I can really hear the grittiness of the glitter and that worries me. So this is a little thin. I feel like I'm gonna have to go over it with many layers. It's just not as bright as I thought it was gonna be because like in the tube it looks super bright and it's tacky. Ah. Eh, don't stick to my hooded eye please I knew you were going to if you got hooded eyes you can't get away from it man you just gotta go with the flow so I'm trying to put a little bit more on here to see oh my god I got it on my lashes okay so I did not like that I did not like that at all so I'm gonna try to go into this shimmer right here, which is Mars Marble, and place that over the shimmer that I just did. So it's not doing as shimmery as I would like, and it's kind of not as pigmented as I would like. So I'm gonna go in with this one, which I believe is Coral Craze. This one right here, which I don't understand why I would be called that. It's not very corally, but it's like a rose goldy bronze. I'm gonna put that on here. We're gonna see what we get. So it's definitely gonna be more of an orangey gold going on instead of that like copper color, which it wasn't even copper. I did not like that liquid shadow at all. It was like a pinky color. It's very weird, but very light. Oh, I see why this one's called coral though. It definitely has like a that duo chromey. Like it looks bronzy, but it's definitely a coral color. I like that a lot. Oh, I almost went into that blush. Okay, so now that I have that color placed, I'm going to go back in 
with that Phoenix Blaze. And I'm just going to put some on the outer corner a little bit more than I had and blend it over the shimmer. All right, so I'm gonna hop off camera. I'm going to put my face on and then I will be right back. Yeah. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I put my face makeup on except for the setting spray because I wanted to be able to use this. This is the Pop Beauty Makeup Magnet Mist. I'm gonna show you, it's just a purple container. Let's give her. It doesn't have a strong scent to it, so. I like that mist. I like the mister. Oh, made my face wet. My clothes are wet. It does get a bit everywhere. That's okay. It actually smells really nice and it feels really nice on the skin. Um, I was actually kind of skeptical about that one, but it actually feels really nice. And for my lip, I went in with the Kylie Cosmetics uh, Paradise Please. And why does her lipstick say Kylie Jenner on it and not Kylie Cosmetics? Is that weird? I don't know. I just noticed that. But this is the Paradise Please. It was from one of the summer collections from a while ago. It's just a very corally pink color and I absolutely love it. I'm sitting over here ready for summertime and it's like 40 degrees outside. I'm done with the winter. All right, so we're going to go back in to do the under eye real quick. I'm going to go in, I think, with, I think I'm going to go in with this one right here, which is Antique Peach. And I'm going to place that underneath the eye. Looks pretty similar to the other orangish red one I did. So I was hoping it would be a little bit more like deep and burnt. They don't have a shimmer shimmer, like an inner corner shimmer, but this is the one that I tried before. So we're gonna see, and it was too light for my lid. So we're gonna see if we can get it to show up. A nice little bling for the inner corner. My whole face does not itch any other time. No, that did nothing. Okay, um, is this a matte or a shimmer? I think this is a shimmer. So we're gonna try another one, which is this one right here, and this is Pale Citrine. We're gonna pop it on that inner corner, possibly. No, it's just as dark, whatever, this is what we're doing. Yep, it'll do. It's, it's not light at all, but it does definitely bring some texture and depth to the inner corner, so. And the last thing we're gonna try is going to be the Plump Pout. I'm just gonna put it over the lipstick I have on because it is in the shade Clear Ice. Ooh, it's this little flat tube. It's the weirdest lip gloss I've ever seen. Minty. Shocker. It's fairly thin. Ooh, oh, that's tingling. Why is it tingling? Oh God. What is this supposed to be doing? Oh, plump pout. This is about to like blow my lips up and I didn't even realize it was a plumping lip gloss. I'm wiping off the tube. I don't like it with all that color in there. It's spicy on <laughs> my lips. Like it's tingling, but it doesn't have your normal minty smell to it. It's almost like um candy cane, like a peppermint. It actually smells fairly nice. I like it. It's not like overpowering mint. But she is tingling. And I really wish I would have known or read that that's what it did because your girl has chopped lips right now. So it's slightly burning. It's slightly burning. Mm. Ah. It's fine. It's starting to go away. I think that if I didn't have chopped lips, it wouldn't be so bad. But because it's chopped lips, I wish I would have read that better. But, I mean, it does say plumping pout. I just thought it meant, like, you're going to look like you got some juicy lips. Not like we're going to do a full-on lip injection on camera. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me know down below if you can see any difference from the time I put that gloss on. Ton out. Because I kind of slightly do, but I don't know if it's li the gloss. So if you've ever noticed, and hear me out, I might be the only one that notices this. When you put a cream or a matte on versus a gloss, every time you put a gloss on, your lips 
immediately look fuller. And I don't think it's because of the plumping, like, material or formula. I think it's just because it's a gloss. So it's supposed to give that fuller lippy effect. I don't know. Just my thought. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. All right, guys. So my final thoughts on this makeup brand. I'm in between. So the last palette that I got for them when I used it, it was actually really, really nice and really, really smooth and blended amazing. Um, they were like greens and silvers and such a pretty palette. And this is a beautiful palette. I mean, it is really, really pretty in color. In theory, I'm excited to try these glitters, but like this shadow was not good. This shadow did not pick up like any of the colors shown in the pan. Um, I wish there would have been like a lighter shimmer to do like the inner corners with, but as for like these two, they winded up being almost the same color on my eye. So that was another like, eh, but I did like it. I did like how it turned out. I think that for being an inexpensive palette, it is nice. I just don't think you, you need to buy this. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> And I don't want to sit here and like rag on them because they are a smaller brand and that makes me feel bad, but I just think that they have better palettes. I don't know what the name of the other palettes are, but I will put it on the screen below that I really, really enjoyed that they sent me before. But this one, I'm just going to say no to. I don't like it at all. Um, this actually felt really nice and my face feels so much more hydrated. It actually reminds me of the MAC setting spray, but it also has the mister instead of like the squirt. Um, so I really, really love this one a lot. I'm glad that I got that. The plumping pout. I like the texture of this gloss. Um, I like the smell of this gloss. It smells like a dang candy cane. However, just know that it is a plumping gloss. So you're going to get some tingling, um, which is not really good for me when I have super dry chapped lips it burned um so there is a little bit of tingling so just to give you a heads up with that but this one wasn't bad i did like the texture it was not a thick gloss at all so that is a plus for me because i cannot tolerate a thick goopy gloss so i do like that this will go in my purse actually and the smell it smells like candy it's not your traditional mint it's like a candy cane peppermint like i just love it i love it um, this no I don't like this. Um, I think that it's way too gritty. You can hear it. Shh. I, I don't know if you're picking that up, but it's just, it's way too gritty. It's not thick enough. When you swipe it on, it looks like it's gonna come off so pigmented, but then it dries down to just be pretty sheer. So when I think these, and I think like metallic um, or chrome eyeshadows. Uh, I just I have used a lot better one So I think that the formula for this is a no for me I did really like the applicator it was easy to put on But I did wind up going in with a pretty shimmer from the eyeshadow palette to go over it to give it that pop So those are my thoughts on this brand. Um, I think that it was like half. Yes half. No um, I would really like to dabble into more of their products and see what I can come up with so maybe I will do like a haul of this brand so if you guys want to see a full blown like haul and full face of makeup using this brand then go ahead and comment below and let me know but it's just like two out of four isn't bad but I really wish that I could have loved this palette a little bit more however it just was not it wasn't my vibe so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to my channel i do five videos a week and one blooper video every saturday and just make sure you do check out my current giveaway that's going on it does end january 15th i will link it right here for you to check out and as always guys i'll see you on the next one bye